ஒன்ஸ் அகேன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு த மேக் திருவிஷன் மேட் மெட்டிகுலர்ஸ் வீடியோ சீரீஸ் டாப் டாபிக் டிஃப்ரென்ஷியல் ஈக்குவேஷன் ஜே டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் ஹோமோஜீனியஸ் டிஃப்ரென்ஷியல் ஈக்குவேஷன்ஸ் ரிவிஷன் ஆஸ் த நேம் சஜஸ்ட் மீன்ஸ் லுக்கிங் பேக் ஓவர் ப்ரீவியஸ்லி லேர்ன்ட் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் என்ஷூரிங் தட் இட் இஸ் கிளியர் அண்ட் ஃப்ரெஷ் இன் த மைண்ட் ஃபைவ் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் பர் டே ஃப்ரம் செலக்டட் டாபிக் இஸ் ப்ரெசென்டட் அட் திஸ் வீடியோ சீரீஸ் The steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer. Homogeneous differential equations. If a first order differential equation is represented in the form dy by dx is equal to function of x comma y. What is the meaning of function of x comma y? Combination of x and y upon g of x comma y where both the numerator function which is made up of x and y and denominator function which is made up of x and y or homogeneous functions of the same degree the degree may be 1 2 3 and so on then it is called a homogeneous differential equation the term itself tells you that the degree should be same the functions are to be homogeneous degree should be same now the whenever we are talking about degree we can uh, think about degree n maybe degree 1 degree 2 degree 3 like for x x degree 1 x square y square xy degree 2 x cube y cube x square y xy square degree 3 then x power 4 y power 4 x cube y then x square y square xy cube these are all degree 4 like that a homogeneous degree a homogeneous function of degree n can be written as f of x comma y is equal to x power n we are uh, taking out that x power n it will become f of y upon x or suppose if it is y power is there then y power n into f of x x upon y therefore a homogeneous differential equation will have a homogeneous function which can be written in the form of f of y by x or f of x upon y therefore how to get the differential equation now a homogeneous function of degree n can be written as dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y upon g of x comma y which is equal to x power n into f of y by x upon x power n into g of y by x which is equal to f of y by x therefore the function which is on the right hand side which is i have given a separate color is a homogeneous function of degree n well, now how to identify a homogeneous function should contain the combination of the following it may be x and y maybe x plus y x minus y like that all the terms of degree 1 it may be x square y square xy combinations all the terms of degree 2 then x cube y cube x square y and xy square all the terms of degree 3 whenever you are identifying you just to see whether the powers of x y and that's combination is the same in every term of the function for so that is called homogeneous functions now sometimes it may be of the form y by upon x sin y by upon x e power y by x tan y by x cos y by x like that that you can directly take it for granted that type of differential equations are homogeneous differential equations only how to solve it first you have to write it dy by dx is equal to function of x comma y upon another function of x comma y here we can identify the numerator and denominator where the degree of x and y when you add them degree of x degree of y and degree of x and y if they are put together should be same then you substitute y is equal to vx where v is a function of x now when you differentiate the y it will become dy by dx right hand side you have to use uv formula that is product rule v into d by dx of x that is 1 plus x into dv by dx these two substitutions you can take it for granted y is equal to vx and dy by dx is equal to v plus x into dv by dx after you have identified that the given differential equation is homogeneous then directly go for these substitutions then separate the variable v and x automatically it will happen v will be in the left hand side and uh, x will be on the right hand side along with v you have dv and along with all functions of x you have dx now we integrate both side to obtain the solution in terms of x and v all of you know we started with a substitution y is equal to v by x which mean that v is equal to y upon x therefore replace v by y by x steps are very simple after you have identified homogeneous differential equation we already discussed how to identify it. if you write dy by dx is equal to something there on the right hand side it will be either made up of y by x or all the terms the powers of x y and its combination will be the same 
it may be 1 or it may be 2 or it may be 3 if it is 1 it will be either x plus y or x minus y if it is 2 it will be x square y square and x y terms will be there if it is 3 x cube y cube x square y and x x y square will be there well now let us move on to questions now x plus y into dy plus x minus y into dx is equal to 0 what is the step number 1 we have to identify what is dy by dx for that i am keeping dy in the left hand side dx on the right hand side i am finding what is dy by dx it is minus of x minus y upon x plus y very simple it is homogeneous because numerator power is 1 1 denominator power is also 1 1 therefore we have to go for the substitution y is equal to vx dy by dx is v plus x into dv by dx put it there v plus x into dv by dx is equal to minus x minus of vx wherever y is there replace it by vx don't touch x therefore denominator will become x plus vx take x outside then the right hand side will become x x x will get cancelled 1 minus v by 1 plus v therefore we can write it as v plus x into dv by dx is equal to v minus 1 upon 1 plus v i am adjusting that minus therefore right hand side is v minus 1 upon 1 plus v let us continue now v to be pushed on the right hand side it will become minus v take lcm v minus 1 minus v into 1 plus v upon 1 plus v expand the bracket v minus 1 minus v minus v square when you expand the bracket v and v will get cancelled you are getting minus v square minus 1 upon 1 plus v therefore x into dv by dx is equal to minus v square minus 1 upon 1 plus v here you can take it for granted the left hand side will always will be x into dv by dx the right hand side will be totally made up of v this will happen only when the given function is homogeneous then only x will get cancelled or x square will get cancelled or x cube will get cancelled good we continue with that now now we can pull and push now always remember dv and dx should be in the denominator numerators therefore x into dv by dx is equal to i am taking the minus sign outside for my convenience it will become v square plus 1 upon 1 plus v now i have uh, put it in the left hand side it will become v plus 1 upon v square plus 1 into dv x by dx when it go to the right hand side it will become minus dx upon x now you can integrate it now because left hand side is totally made up of v right hand side is totally made up of x but i am going for integration integral v plus 1 by v square plus 1 dv is equal to minus integral dx upon x let us continue now the left hand side right hand side integral normally it will be log x only there won't be any confusion the left hand side integral only you have to use the techniques which you have already seen here v plus 1 by v square plus 1 it is a proper fraction i can split it into 2 v upon v square plus 1 and 1 upon v square plus 1 again in the first integral v square plus 1 differentiation is 2v therefore i multiply and divide by 2 and adjustment therefore first integral numerator contain differentiation of the denominator second integral is tan inverse formula third right hand side integral is log x where i am substituting now half log v square plus 1 plus tan inverse v is equal to minus log plus c uh, now uh, we have to resubstitute therefore half into log of y square upon x square plus 1 plus tan inverse of y by x is equal to minus log x plus c now you can leave at this stage or you can simplify that uh, log of y square plus 1 by upon x y square upon x square plus 1 you can write it as x square plus y square by x square uh, then half can be write it as log of square root of this also you can do it but if you leave it as it is also it is enough therefore final answer half into log of y by x the whole square or y square by x square plus 1 plus tan inverse y by x is equal to minus log x plus c let us move on to the next question here when you find this x dy minus y dx is equal to square root of that we have to keep dy in the left hand side dx to the right hand side therefore i am pushing that y dx to the right hand side for x dy is equal to y dx plus root of x square plus y square into dx i can take dx outside x into dy is equal to y plus root x square plus y square into dx this i am doing to write what is dy by dx dy by dx is y plus root of x square plus y square upon x now all of you may be seeing here that in the numerator the power of y is 1 denominator power of x is 1 but x square plus y square as they are inside the square root their power is also 1 therefore everywhere the power of the variable is 1 therefore it is homogeneous now let us continue y is equal to vx dy by dx is v plus x into dv by dx it is a little bit mechanical wherever 
y is coming we are replacing it by vx therefore in the left hand side v plus x into dv by dx right hand side vx plus root x square plus y square therefore v square x square upon x let us continue v plus x into dv by dx i am taking x square outside from the square root it will become vx plus x into root 1 plus v square upon x let us continue x will get cancelled all of you know already we have discussed that whenever on the right hand side there should not be x it should get cancelled either x cancels or x square cancel based on the situation for v plus x into dv by dx is equal to v plus root 1 plus v square now as usual push the v to the right hand side it will become v plus root 1 plus v square minus v v v getting cancelled you are getting x into dv by dx is equal to root 1 plus v square now we are ready for variable separable now therefore 1 upon 1 plus v square dv bring it to the left hand side is equal to x by dx push it to the right hand side it will become dx upon x now you are identifying in every problem right hand side is always dx by x left hand side is something into dv well now integrate it now now it's a direct integration we are having a direct formula for integral dx upon root 1 plus x square log of something therefore you know it therefore we are using that formula log of v plus root 1 plus v square right hand side is log x plus c we have to replace v by y by x therefore log of y by x plus root of 1 plus y square by x square is equal to log x plus c once again i repeat here there is a possibility of simplification by taking lcm inside the square root now if you look out some of the books where you can see the solution of this they would have taken c also as log c the intention for it is for simplification but there is no need that you have to take it as c c as log c the constant as log c constant of integration as log c if it is taken it is highly useful for simplifications well let us go to the problem number three here i have taken a problem where it is a homogeneous function of degree two well therefore already it is there now i can pull and push dy by dx is x square plus y square upon x square plus xy numerator degree x square 2 y square is also 2 denominator x square 2 and xy 1 plus 1 is 2 therefore it is perfectly homogeneous put y is equal to vx dy by dx as v plus x into dv by dx therefore v plus x into dv by dx is x square plus v square x upon x square plus x into vx therefore by taking x square outside numerator is one x square into one plus v square denominator is x square into one plus v well now we have to push that v to the right hand side i am pushing it to the right hand side therefore when you take the lcm it will become numerator one plus v square minus v into one plus v by one 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 plus v when i expand the bracket it will become one plus v square minus v minus v square v square v square getting cancelled i get one minus v upon one plus v now we are ready now we are ready for let us continue x into dv by dx is equal to 1 minus v upon 1 plus v now we are ready for pulling and pushing push that 1 minus v by 1 plus v to the left hand side it will become 1 plus v upon 1 minus v dv is equal to dx upon x we are ready for integration now integral 1 plus v upon 1 minus v into dv is equal to integral dx upon x let us look at the integration in the left hand side it is a part fraction which is improper numerator and denominator degree are same therefore we have to divide the numerator by the denominator it will become v plus 1 divided by minus v plus 1 now this can be done by adjusting the numerator also but i am doing by the way of converting a improper into fraction into proper fractions for multiply by minus 1 it will become uh, v minus 1 therefore remainder is 2 how to put that improper fraction in proper form q plus r by d q is the quotient plus remainder by the divisor therefore minus 1 is the remainder so minus 1 is the quotient sorry minus 1 is the quotient plus remainder 2 upon 1 minus v into dv into integral dx integration is direct now it is minus v integration of 1 is v therefore minus v then integration of 1 minus v is log 1 minus v but be careful you have to put the coefficient of uh, v in the denominator right hand side integration is log x therefore you got minus y by x minus 2 log 1 minus y by x is equal to log x plus c e by replacing wherever v comes as y by x again there is a possibility for simplification but i am leaving it as it is you can also leave it in the exam like this you can also leave it like this in the examination provided it is not a 
problem of uh, uh, identifying the value of c well now let us move on to question number four solve x into dy by dx is y minus x into tan of y by x already we have discussed whenever we are identifying any function made up of y by x it should be a homogeneous differential equation only but remember everywhere you should have y by x well let us try x into dy by dx is y minus x into tan of y by x for dy by dx is by pushing that x to the right hand side y by x x x get cancelled minus tan of y by x therefore dy by dx is written as a function of y by x now we are ready now go for y is equal to vx dy by dx is v plus x into dy by dx what do you mean by y is equal to vx it is y by x is equal to v y upon x is equal to v substitute now in that left hand side v plus x into dv by dx right hand side v minus tan v y by x is v therefore v minus tan v now push that v to the right hand side it will become v minus tan v minus v therefore x into dv by dx is minus tan v we are now ready for pulling and pushing therefore dv upon 1 minus 1 upon tan v into dv is equal to minus dx upon x we are ready for integration now therefore integrate integral cot v dv because 1 by tan v is cot is equal to minus 1 by x dx log of sin v is the integration of cot v minus log x plus c therefore by replacing v by y by x log of sin y by x is equal to minus log x plus c here once again i repeat suppose if this problem is asked where to evaluate the value of c by giving some boundary values it is always advisable to take c also as log c for simplification purpose let us move on to the next question solve x into e power y by x plus y into dx is equal to x into dy once again the same idea wherever you see y by x somewhere remember this should be a homogeneous differential equation everywhere you should have y by x let us try x into e power y by x plus y into dx is equal to x into dy now i divide the whole equation by x it will become e upon e power y by x plus y by x dx is equal to dy by dividing both side by x now pull and push dy by dx is equal to e power y by x plus y by x right hand side is totally made up of y by x it is a function of y by x substitute now y is equal to vx dy by dx is equal to v plus x into dv by dx therefore y by x is equal to v substitute now v plus x into dv by dx is equal to e power v plus v continue v should be pushed to the right hand side it will become v minus v therefore you end up with only x into dv by dx is e power v we are now ready for pulling and pushing for dv upon e power v is equal to dx upon x integrate therefore left integral is e power minus v dv right hand side is dx upon x therefore it is minus e power minus v because the coefficient of e is minus 1 is equal to log x plus c now do the substitution minus e power minus y by x is equal to log x plus c here there is a scope for simplification but i am leaving it as it is success is dependent on efforts all the best thank you